First at 10, the push to get answers about what's going on at Oklahoma's Department of Human Services. The right to petition, it's often called the forgotten right of the First Amendment, but a group of Oklahomans hasn't forgot. They're petitioning for a grand jury investigation into allegations of corruption at DHS. I'm 2 News Oklahoma's Brody Myers. I'm introducing you to the DHS employee who's leading the effort. Rosario Chico is the name. And you work for Oklahoma DHS? Correct. I work for the Department of Human Services. But you think there's some wrongdoings? Yes, I know that there are wrongdoings. Chico was among the group who met at a Greenwood coffee shop to rally support for their petition. She says ODHS sent her children away. This group included people of all backgrounds and views. NAACP President Francetta Mays, Senator Dana Prieto, Representative J.J. Humphrey, and everyday Oklahomans all on hand. When you hear Oklahoma DHS, what do you think? That there's some corruption going on at DHS as well. Aquanita Martin let me listen to her story. She says her son died in an Oklahoma prison. She's behind the petition calling for a grand jury to investigate ODHS. Those in favor of the investigation say DHS is ripe with corruption and failing to protect Oklahoma's children. Chico accused DHS of conspiring with lawyers to take children away from parents. For our coverage of this petition, DHS sent us a statement saying this is an unprecedented attack on public safety and human service officials across the state who work tirelessly to ensure the health, safety, and well-being of Oklahoma's children and vulnerable individuals. I love Oklahoma. It's a good place to raise a family, but the people have got to love each other and they've got to do the right thing. In Tulsa, Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.